I feel thirsty, doctor. And hot. Do you have any water? Do you forget anything from our sessions, doctor? People follow me to the beach. I don't know who they are, and I don't know what happens to them. I don't always get followed, though, so it doesn't explain my blackouts. What's Tamazepam? Why are you asking? I don't take sleeping pills. Never have done. When you suffer blackouts already, you don't really get offered anything like that. I've been drinking a lot of water recently. I didn't go to the beach. I didn't go to the sea. I said I would, but I didn't. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's like it's getting worse because I didn't go to the sea. It's like I'm having... I don't feel well. I feel sick most of the time, dizzy, thirsty. I got a head fog like you wouldn't believe. My doctor, Dr. Rose, sent me for blood tests. Dr. Rose thinks maybe I have a vitamin deficiency. I can tell she has no idea. She smiles, but she hasn't got any answers. I think I probably need to go back to the beach. The sea, doctor. It's calling me. This sounds crazy, but I can hear the sea. It's like an alarm going off in my head. Do you know where the sea is? From here? It's over there. Wherever I am, I know exactly where the sea is. It's like a compass. I have this recurring dream. I'm at the beach. I strip and walk into the sea. The sea feels warm and comforting. Not cold and harsh like you'd think. I swim down to the bottom of the ocean. I can breathe freely. I can breathe water. On the ocean floor ahead of me, there is a beautiful creature. A glowing being with wispy limbs. It's so warm. I'm transfixed. But my feet shift. I'm unsteady. Below me, the floor is woven in human flesh. Dead bodies, but some of them still struggling for life. These are the ones touching me, gripping my feet. I scream. That's when I wake up. Do you have that dream, Doctor? I think you're mocking me. I'd like to leave. It's a dream, Doctor. Stranger things happen in dreams. I said I don't know what happens to them. It's not always to the beach. Sometimes they follow me home. My home is in Chantry. You know that. You rang my doorbell last night.
I don't know. I didn't kiss you, but you just followed me like the others. I don't feel comfortable here, doctor. I'd like to leave. He lent me some money to start my business. It was a proper agreement. I remember signing things. He thought that a distraction would do me good. I don't think he expected me to trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. Dr. Decker thought I had too much time on my hands, so a distraction would do me good. He lent me 15,000, all in all. I hear a sound like singing, calling me. It gets stronger when I face it, when I move towards it. That's how I know where the sea is. But when I don't go to the sea, I feel like the sound gets louder all the time. I'm having trouble sleeping. Perhaps I need sleeping tablets after all. I've seen Dr. Decker drink, but not that much. Certainly not during our sessions. He had other things on his mind, I'm sure. If you say so, it must have been your twin then. I don't know if I have a twin. Do you have a twin, doctor? I know you don't. It was definitely you wearing what you're wearing now. No. There's been no dancing. I haven't been feeling that well, Doctor. He's the cute, sad-looking one, isn't he? He asked me out and I said I'd let him know. Do you think I should go out with him? Okay, but if he goes missing, don't go looking at me. <laughs> you said it with such a serious look on your face, I almost believed you. It would be good if you had some kind of superpower that helped me, but I don't think so. It's a referral letter, Doctor. Don't overthink it. A girl can't be too careful with everything that's been going on. <laughs>